What's going on everybody? Judge with Courtroom Gaming and Development. We're going to be doing a bit of a tutorial on our QB Core Vehicles Shared Lua Creator. It is a bat file. It is really simple to use it. There are two ways to use it. Um, this will save you hours and hours of coding, copying, pasting, etc. What this does is this will pull the spawn code from the YTD file and create the Lua folder or the Lua file for you. There is a little bit of editing that you'll have to do to make it your own. Uh, this is just a brief tutorial, um, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so the link to this will be in the description below. So we're going to go to our GitHub. We're going to go to Code, Download Zip Folder. As you can see, I've uh, already downloaded it. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our folder, drag it to a desktop or wherever you want it. We're going to go ahead and just drop it. Okay. Again, there's two ways of using this. So we're going to go ahead and bring up our car pack. We're using Polk's car pack. The link will be in the description also. Um, so there's two ways we can do this. So we're going to go into our stream folder. As you can see, this is categorized by make. Um, so if we go into Jeep um, and say that all the Jeeps are in a row, so meaning we have all the streams in one location. So there's two ways we can do this. Say that all we want is a track hawk, which is simple, it's one file. We can run this bat file here. And then we see that we got our output dot Lua here. And then it'll see that we have the TR hawk, which is just that one car. Um, the other way we can use this is we can go back and we can bring our vehicle actually we can just go ahead and delete that from there let's go ahead and also delete this output so there's a couple way the second way we can do this is say we want to make multiple vehicles we're going to copy this vehicle and we're going to paste it into our creator and then let's say we want the tr hawk and we want the srt8 um, so from here, we're just going to copy, uh, looks like we have two of them here, so we can just copy all, paste them here, there's two vehicles, and then just for kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and do Chevrolet, I like Chevrolet, uh, let's go ahead and do the 21 Tahoe, we're going to go ahead and copy our YTD, YTF, and high YTF, we're going to go ahead and paste those in this file. Doesn't matter where they're at, as long as the bat file and your YTD and YTF files are in the same location, it'll do the exact same thing. So we're going to go ahead and run that again. Depending on how many cars you have, it might take a minute. So we're going to go ahead and bring up our output.lua. So as you can see, that there are, it's not in the, the same format. There are these little uh, quotations here. So you hit control F, your little drop down, and then we're going to just replace this with nothing and replace all. So from here, you're going to copy the second from the bottom line all the way up to the second from the top line. We're going to copy this. And then we're going to go ahead and come back into our server folder. We're going to go into QB, QB core shared vehicles.lua we're going to let that load for a minute you will have cars in here by default but we're going to go ahead and just paste that in there so as you can see we have our srt8 our srt8b and our 21 tahoe and our trackhawk right so with this this gives you the exact format um as you can see right here, category labels versus I don't have it here. This is just because I'm running on a older QB core um, update, if you will, not on current. Um, so from here, the only thing that you'll have to edit is the name. So this is a Trackhawk. This is, you know, a 2021 Chevy Tahoe, uh, etc. And then the price you can adjust uh here to whatever you want then you'll change your categories to whatever you want uh these two lines here 
and then whatever shop you want. So if you want it in PDM, Luxury, etc., go ahead and do that there. Uh, go ahead and save it, restart your server, and there you go. Um, with this, uh, I did forget to mention that within this, there is a readme.lua, or sorry, a readme file. I apologize, it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so in here, this will kind of give you a brief tutorial on exactly what you need to do. It'll let, it uh, does have the note that you need to change the name, the price, category, shop. If you do have any comments, questions, concerns with this, go ahead and join the Discord. The link will be listed below. Um, whether you need help with this, creating you a QB Core 5M server, or fixing bugs on your current one, feel free to reach out. Go ahead and open up a support ticket. We do have a wonderful bailiff, aka support team within courtroom gaming and development. Much love, much appreciation, guys. I will be uploading more tutorials and more how-to videos um, as time goes by. I'm currently dealing with some stuff um, with uh, technology, we'll say. Um, so, again, uh, I do appreciate you guys. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. We will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks.